Belly Button Book by Sandra Boynton. No, you can keep going. Belly Button Book by Sandra Boynton. Workman Publishing, New York. This tiny hippopotamus has something small to say. And if we're very quiet now, she'll, list, she'll say it right away. Listen. Beepo. You might not know what beepo means, or maybe you've forgotten. It's just the tiny hippo way of saying belly button. Beepo. We, we hippos love our belly bees. They're round and cute and funny. And there's a place we take them to when, sunner, when summer days are sunny. Come. Beepo. Ah, uh, look at all the hippos with a belly button each. Do you wonder where we are? It's Belly Button Beach, where tons of hippos stand around and see in baby bathing suits too little because they hope you will admire their belly, uh, their button on their middle. <laughs> we don't do much throughout the day. That's how we like it best. We nibble grapes. We watch the waves. We take a little rest. We all we always love to get balloons, and I know why. Do you? Because we like to think balloons have belly buttons too. Boom! Soon after dark upon the beach, we sing our favorite song. And if you're feeling in the mood, we hope you'll sing along. Belly, belly button, you're oh so fine. New belly button, I'm so happy you're mine. We sing this song on summer nights or when it's hot outside. But never in cold winter time. When bel when belly buttons hide. No, never in cold winter time. When belly buttons hide. Bye bye, people. Hoping for hippos? Take a look. They're in this belly button book. And eight more books to look for. The end. The end. Rhyming dust bunnies. By Jan Thomas. For Bob. Hello, we are Ed, Ned, Ted, and Bob. We rhyme all the time. Hey, what rhymes with car? Bar, jar, tar, look. No, Bob, look does not rhyme with car. What rhymes with bug? No, I should have said. Rug, hug, look out, mug. No, Bob, look out does not rhyme with bug. What rhymes with dog? Hog, log, fog. Look out, here comes a big scary monster with a broom. Bob, no. Look out, here comes a big scary monster with a broom. Does not rhyme with anything, really. Okay then, but... Rock, <laughs> Good call, Bob. Okay, so where were we? What rhymes with cats? Sat, pat, rat, vacuum cleaner! <laughs> um, Bob, what rhymes with... How do we get out? Help? Hey, what rhymes with dust bunnies? The... Christmas in the Mange by Nola Buck and Felisa Bond. I am the star that shines in the east. I like the stable for man and beast. I am the donkey soft and gray. I carried his mother from her far away. I am the ram with my curly horn. I guide the star where the child is. I mean, God. The child is born. I am the uh, ox strong as steel. Before the only son I kneel. We are the shepherds to watch the sheep. Tonight the holy watch we keep. We are the wise men gifts we bring. For baby Jesus our newborn king. I am Mary the mother mild. How I love my tiny child. I am the baby asleep in the hay. 
and I am the reason for Christmas Day. Goldie Sachs and the Three Librarians by Jackie Mims Hopkins, illustrated by John Manders. Once upon a time, nestled in a, deep in an enchanted forest, there lived a book-loving bear family. Papa Bear was a public librarian, Mama Bear was a school librarian, and their son Baby Bear was a librarian at training at Grizzly Lee Preschool. One morning, a little girl named Goldie Socks was on her way to school. Goldie Socks usually walked along the road, but this day, since she was running particularly late, she decided to take a shortcut through the forest. By and by, Goldie Socks came upon an astonishing sight. There, in the middle of the forest, she saw a cottage that appeared to be made of books. Goldie Socks loved books more than bears love honey, so she went up to the house for a closer look. She knocked on the door, and to her surprise, it cracked open. Cautiously, Goldie Socks peeked inside. Shelves and shelves of wondrous books lined the walls. She called out to see if anyone was home, but no one answered. Goldie Socks knew she shouldn't go in, but the temptation of all those books was more than she can boy could bear. Once inside the cottage, Goldie Socks went straight to the shelves and began browsing through the books. The first book she pulled off the shelf was too big. In fact, it was so heavy it fell to the floor. Goldie Socks went to another shelf, but the book she took from the shelf was too little. Then she looked through some non-fiction books and found one that was just right. Goldilocks wandered over to another shelf and opened up a chapter book. She used the five-finger rule to see if the book was too hard. She started with a closed fist, and when she came to a world she didn't know, she put up one finger. All five fingers went up while reading the first page of the book, so she knew the book was too hard for her. She tried another book, but it was too easy. Then she found a book of fairy tales that was just right. After she found several books that were just right for her, Goldie Sacks began searching for the perfect place to read them. Goldie Sacks looked around the room and spotted a big, lazy bear recliner. She climbed up into the enormous chair and pushed it back, but it went too far. She surveyed the room again, and this time she spotted, spied a poofy couch with lots of pillows on. Goldie Sacks sprang into the air and landed smack dab in the middle of the couch. Pillows flew everywhere. The couch was too squishy. Maybe there was a comfortable place upstairs, she thought. When Goldie Socks reached the top of the stairs, she saw a tent made out of a blanket. She crawled inside the cozy, cozy tent and opened a book of fairy tales and began to read. Yes, this place was just right. Around noon, the three librarians came home for lunch. Papa Librarian immediately noticed one of his books on the floor. Someone's been looking at my big books and left one on the floor, he said. Then Mama Librarian said, Someone's been looking at all my little books and put one back on the shelf with its patient showing instead of the sign. Then Baby Librarian said, Someone's been looking at my non-fiction books and one is all gone. Papa looked at another shelf and said, Someone's been looking at my hard books and left one on top of the shelf. Someone's been looking at my easy books and put one on the shelf upside down, Mama Librarian said. Then Baby Librarian said, Someone's been looking at my fairy tale books and one's all gone. Papa Librarian saw that his favorite chair was not the same, in the same position that he had left it. Someone's been sitting in my recliner and left it pushed back, he said. Then Mama Librarian said, Someone's been sitting on my poofy couch and knocked the pillows to the floor. The three librarians crept up the stairs. When they got to the top, Baby Librarian said, Someone's been in my cozy reading tent, and there she is. Goldilocks looked up from her book and saw the big sharp teeth of the three librarians, smiling at her. Papa, Mama, and Baby Librarian joined Goldie Socks in the tent. Papa Librarian read a story to everyone, and it was just right. 